The trial of the Boston Marathon bombing suspect is underway today with prosecutors painting a frightening picture of the accused. The long-awaited trial of Johar Sarnayev began this morning nearly two years after the attack. Live with us this morning, BUTV 10 reporter Lauren Westberg. She's at Federal Court. Good morning, Lauren. I'm here outside the federal courthouse in South Boston, where the opening statements for the Sarah Narev trial were held today. Tulsi Patel is here with me. She was inside today uh, to give us some insight. Can you tell me about some of the strategies that the defense and the prosecution were given today in their opening statements? Um, absolutely. So it was really interesting um, because the government, when laying out their case, really emphasized the types of evidence that will be involved to uh, prove all 30 counts, which include conspiracy and murder. Um, so surveillance tapes, there were bloody gloves found, um, as well as shrap metal. Um, so really the, the government kind of pointed to uh, to the narrative uh, along with sort of the evidence involved um, as Zarnayev and his brother uh, allegedly went from the Boston Marathon bombings to the um, to the killing of the MIT officer to the car hijacking and then finally to the shootout at Watertown. Um, so this was really in contrast to the defense's strategy which involved um, appealing to emotion and to empathy emphasizing that Zarnayev was a person uh, before he had committed these uh, horrendous crimes. Thank you very much, Tulsi. Back to you guys. Thank you, Lauren. Jury selection took nearly two months. Twelve jurors, including a student, an air traffic controller, and a legal secretary, as well as a house painter.